Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you through a quick tour of DaVinci Resolve 14 where you'll learn everything you need to start making your own amazing videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, the first thing you need to know about DaVinci Resolve is that it's based around these five panels down at the bottom. There's media, edit, color, Fairlight and Deliver, and you progress through them right to left, just like reading a book. So, starting with the Media tab, this is where you'll open all of the video footage, music, or pictures that you want to edit. Just browse to wherever they're stored on your computer and drag them into the Media Pool. organize your clips, you can right-click the pool and select Add Bin. This will make a folder that you can name and then use to organize your footage. And that's all you really need to know for this tab. Now let's move on to the Edit tab. There are three sections at the top left. These are the Media Pool, the effects library, and the edit index. Now the edit index basically just shows you a list of every change you make to your video. We'll start over at the media pool. This is where we'll find the footage that we just imported. And you can drag it down to the timeline. Turning on the magnet will make everything snap to the nearest end. Now let's add a title. Select your clips and move them over a bit to make room for it. Then head up to the effects library and drag title down to the timeline. Double-clicking the title will bring up the inspector. This is where we can change what it says. Pick a font. And move it around. I'd like to make this fade in, so I'm going to select Cross Dissolve from the Effects Library and drag that to the beginning of my title. Next I'm going to trim my clips. So find the point you want to trim them at, grab the side of the clip you're trimming, and just drag it until you're happy with how long it is. It's just that simple. I'm going to do this to all of my clips now. Then I'll rearrange them so they're all next to each other again. Now I'd like to add that transition to all of my clips, so just drag it down the same way as before. Unfortunately, sometimes this won't work, this is because each clip has to be shortened so there's something extra for it to use when it's fading. The way I do this is by clicking the point where the clips meet right in the middle, right clicking the effect that I want to use, and selecting Add to Selected Edit Points. This will bring up a window asking me if I want to trim the clips. This will shave just the right amount off for the transition. I'm going to replace the audio in these clips with music. So click this little chain icon here to unlink the sound from the video. Then select the green sound clips you want to delete and hit the delete key. Next head back over to the media pool, grab your music, and drag it down. As 
you can see here, this music is way too long for this, so I'm going to hit Control and Minus at the same time to shrink the timeline until I can resize the music to its proper length. When you're finished, just hit Control and Plus to make it normal again. There are two ways we can fade audio. The first is to click the little dot at the beginning or end of the sound and drag it over. You can adjust the curve with the dot in the middle. The second is to go into the audio section of the effects library and drag the crossfade to your clip. And finally, the bar in the middle of the sound will let you adjust the overall volume. Now for the color tab. We've got the preview box at the top center and the adjustments down below. Now I've got two types of footage here regular footage, which is sometimes called Rec 709, and log. I'll talk more about log in a future video, but for now, just know it's a way of getting the highest possible quality image out of your camera. Log is a bit more complicated to color grade, though. We'll start with a log clip. The simplest way to make log good is just add contrast. This will get you decent looking footage with very little work. To change the values below the wheelie thingies, just click them and drag left or right. Now I'm going with a colder look with this footage, so click the number 2 down in the bottom corner and you can adjust the temperature the same way as you did with the contrast. pretty good on the temperature here, so now I'll explain what these little wheelie thingies are here. They're fairly simple actually. You've got offset, gain, gamma, and lift. Lift adjusts the shadows, gain adjusts the brights, and gamma does the midtones. Offset is kind of like brightness, it adjusts everything all at once. There's a lot of potential with these, just play around with them until you get something you like. Once you do, you can right click the preview in the middle and select grab still. This still is a list of the changes that you just made to this clip. So you can go to all your other clips, right click the still and select apply grade and it'll save you from having to redo every single thing individually for each of those clips. pretty much wraps up the basics of the color tab. The Fairlight tab is next, and this is where you'll find things for professional audio mixing, like EQ or Dynamics. I've only ever used this tab once, and for beginners, you really don't need this section, so I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial. The final tab is Deliver, and this is where we create our finished product. It's always a good idea to save your project before rendering, and we can give it a name at this point too. At the top left here, you can select what you want your video to be optimized for, and for me that's 1080p YouTube. You can select where you want your file to be put too. Now 
there's nothing wrong with the default settings, but I like to change the format to MP4 and the bitrate to 20,000 kilobytes per second for a bit higher quality. I leave all the audio settings at the default and give the file a name. Hit add to queue and then start the render. Now depending on how powerful of a computer you have, this can take some time, but when it finishes, you're all done. That's all there is to it. Let me know if you've got any questions down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.